The James Webb Telescope is going to change everything we know about the universe. Hello and welcome back to our channel Curious Media. If you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to never miss an update. You probably heard a lot of crazy things about space and the universe, but a lot of it has been debunked by the amazing James Webb Telescope. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the biggest myths that have been debunked by the James Webb Telescope. Get ready to have your mind blown. The James Webb Telescope, the Hubble Telescope's successor, is now in use. 30 years after the Hubble Telescope's initial launch, Big Bang cosmologists anticipated it to reveal young galaxies shortly after the universe's own beginning. But after looking far into space, the James Webb Telescope is returning images that contradict conventional wisdom and suggest an infinitely large universe. The world has been in awe of the images that the James Webb Space Telescope is returning. These are the clearest and most expansive images of the universe that humanity has yet to capture. The images are, as one might expect, God's creation being revealed to us, and in it we can see both his astonishing power and his love of beauty, according to a Jesuit astronomer working at the Vatican's own observatory. However, the JWST is now starting to send back data that poses significant problems for that contemporary creation myth. The Big Bang Theory, far from exalting God's creation. As it peers further into space, it is starting to disprove long-held beliefs about the creation and evolution of the universe, while also shining a brilliant light on some of the most significant and profound scientific and philosophical issues. After about six months of calibration and only 12 hours of full operation, the JWST, which was launched into orbit 1.5 million kilometers from our planet in December 2021, has produced the most stunning images. It promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it with its potent 25 square meter eye, capable of detecting a wide range of infrared light with 100 times the power of its predecessor, the Hubble telescope, the Big Bang. The image of the breathtaking Webb's first deep field, which shows a panorama of far-off galaxies, has undoubtedly garnered the most attention. In this rapidly disappearing region of the sky, countless galaxies can be seen. Some are round, others are elongated, and some are so bright that they obscure their nearby neighbors. Preliminary calculations indicate that the farthest of these galaxies, which appear as infrared arcs due to their so-called redshift and gravitational lensing, which distorts their apparent shape, released their light more than 13 billion years ago. This is only a few hundred million years after the time when the Big Bang Theory claims the universe as a whole was created 13.8 billion years ago. The validity of the Big Bang Theory is seriously questioned by the observation of an increasing number of galaxies at times that barely succeed the alleged origin of the universe. How could bright, fully formed galaxies exist at a time when the universe was just beginning? According to cosmology, giant galaxies are believed to be created from small, faint clouds that gradually coalesce through cosmic mergers, according to the most widely accepted theories of galaxy formation. Billions of years pass during this process. The theory predicts only the faintest dwarf galaxies, so tiny and faint that we would hardly expect to see anything at all at a time when the universe was allegedly in its infancy. Giant galaxies wouldn't form from cosmic mergers until much later. Some astronomers already had nagging doubts about the validity of observations made before the JWST's observations. The galaxy GNZ11 was found in 2016. The accepted theories predict that it would have given off light 13.4 billion years ago, or just 400 million years after the universe is thought to have started. 400 million years is merely a sign the grand scheme of things. The 12.8 billion year old black hole that has been observed was found in 2020. But how could a black hole form at a time when it was thought that matter was still too diffused to collapse under gravity? Once again, the spiral galaxy BRI 1335-417, which is 12.4 billion years old and roughly a billion years earlier than the time thought possible for the formation of this type of complex galaxy, according to the Big Bang Theory, was not discovered until 2021. Some already believe that the JWST has imaged GLASS, Z11 and GLASS Z13, dubbed GLASSY, the oldest galaxies yet discovered. 
it is still early and much more rigorous analysis is necessary to confirm the initial observations. Preliminary analysis indicates that these galaxies formed only 300 million years after the Big Bang. Our planet is 4.5 billion years older than our galaxy, the Milky Way, and it takes that galaxy 200 million years to complete just one rotation. How these galaxies could have formed in such a brief period of time is not explained by the traditional theory of galaxy development. And this is only the start. Even older galaxies are allegedly being identified in other pre-publication papers. So there you have it. The most common misbeliefs corrected by James Webb Telescope. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tune in next time for more amazing discoveries and space exploration news. Until then, take care and keep exploring.